What's up guys? Welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So finally, when it comes to watchOS 8, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have the fifth point update so on your apple watch if you have a supported device you can easily go into the settings and go to the software update page and try to update to watch os 8.5 since this is beta you will need a developer beta or in about two or so days you will need a public beta to be able to update but there's a lot of users like apple watch series 4 and later users that are having issues still up to this time when it comes to upgrading their Apple Watch to watchOS 8.5. Some of them are coming from watchOS 8.4. So it could be a system or a software update issue. And one of the things that I noticed with this update is that on your iPhone, you actually need to update your iPhone to the latest iOS beta, which is iOS 15.4 beta 1. So if you go into settings on my iPhone, here and go to general and go to this about section you can see that i'm on ios 15.4 or if you go to the software update page you will see that i'm on ios 15.4 so initially i couldn't update my watch to watch os 8.5 but the moment i updated my iphone to the latest ios 15.4 beta 1 i was then able to go into the settings and then go to the software update page of my apple watch and and I was able to find watchOS 8.5. Now, that's how I was able to update. If you have updated your iPhone and you are having issues still, then perhaps reboot your devices and try again. That could resolve your issues. Now, as you can see here on my Apple Watch Series 7, this update size came in at exactly 514 megabytes so slightly over half a gig and that's quite substantial so there is quite a few things that change coming from watchOS 8.4 and i can't wait to share them with you here on this channel now obviously though this is not all that apple released today when it comes to software updates so if you go to the developer page for apple you will see that they released mac os 12.3 beta 1 i've already done and posted a video when it comes to this they also released ios as well as ipad os 15.4 beta 1 also watch os 8.5 beta 1 of course this is the video for this and also they released tvos 15.4 beta one now most of these updates if you didn't know i do cover them here on the channel at half men half tech so if you want to keep up to date with what's changing when it comes to software and so on then a sub to the channel would really be appreciated now this is my apple watch series 7 i've already updated this device to watch os 8.5 beta 1 so let's unlock it and go into settings in general and we want to go to the about this watch section just to show you that it's updated i can go back and go to software update and you'll be able to see that your watch is up to date and if we go to the about this watch section you can see here that we have the new build number and the version is 8.5 of course and the build number that came with this update is 19T5212H. So this update has an H at the end and in terms of stability it still you know needs some more betas in order for it to get more stable so that's as much as the software changes that came with this update. Now in terms of the new features and changes that came with this update the first one that I would like to highlight and share with you if you use messages and you use emojis quite a lot so if you go in your messages, I actually sent a few to take hype. So he replied and said congratulations and so on. So you can see that he had not yet updated his device to watch OS 8.5. So the emojis that I sent him were not showing. That's why you see those question marks. But for me, I've already updated my watch to watch OS 8.5 alongside my iPhone to iOS 15.4. So I was able to send him these new memojis and these new memojis are basically in support for standard 14 so some of the people that haven't updated they want 
won't be able to see them because they won't have been updated to standard 14 so just to show you how i can send you know some of the emojis here so if i wanted to reply to take height i click here in messages and i click where the emojis are you can see some of them a uh, lip biting or biting your lips sort of you can see this emoji face with the mouth that's sideways this one that's frowning this one that's saluting and also you can see this one is new this one is new so all in all we have about 37 new memojis and some of them you actually see that they are like more or less the same some of them which have to do with like the certain races or hands they will look the same but there's just been different kind of variations to support different ethnicities and so on so that's all when it comes to the new memojis and some of the new hand gestures as you can see for some reason you can see when i selected this memoji my watch actually turned these uh, borders dark and you can see i can actually select and once i select you can see that it shows so let's click there again same bug shows up and yeah you can see this one we can select but some of them won't be uh, like we won't be able to select them so you can see it's still a beta like i mentioned the build number ends with an h and it's not the best or the greatest in terms of stability now i opened up the ecg app because in my previous video i forgot to highlight that the new country which is indonesia finally got ecg support so if you are in indonesia and you are on watchOS 8.5 the first beta on the last update you actually have ecg support so congratulations and you can always check this out once you uh, have your apple watch series 4 or later and also alongside this watch os 8.5 beta 1 update like i mentioned there were also other updates like ios 15.4 so if you wear a face mask what was happening before this watch os 8.5 and ios 15.4 came out you would have to go into your settings and then you would have to go to where it says face id and passcode so let me just put in my passcode of our out, out, out of camera here and then i would have to come here to where it says unlock with apple watch and basically this would allow me to use my apple watch to unlock my iphone even though i'm wearing a face mask so now with ios 15.4 if you have an iphone 12 or newer so i'll repeat that again so that uh, i avoid like a lot of uh, messages and comments that the feature is not showing up the new feature that comes to ios 15.4 is required or works with an ios 15.4 device and an iphone 12 or newer so you need an iphone 12 or iphone 13 device to be able to use the new feature if you don't have that and you want to continue to unlock your iphone while wearing a face mask then the best bet is just to keep using your apple watch then you know you'll be able to go into your settings and uh, set up your apple watch to unlock your iphone while wearing a face mask so that is how you can do it for now and like i mentioned when it comes to some of the release notes that we mentioned with this update let me just show you some of those uh, release notes when it comes to watchOS 8.5 so you can see here that when when it comes to this update there's just new apple pay and it's a new feature that has to do with developers where payments requests and network preferences have been updated and also you have a known issue when it comes to siri and there's a new feature for store kit for developers so you can always see some of these store kit new features if you develop and of course as you can see here there's some resolved issues in watchOS 8.5 some of them have to do like i noticed most of them have to do with uh, store kit and for developers and also swift ui so if this is something that was affecting you and you want to see whether it's resolved then perhaps 
you know it's one of the listed issues that have been resolved with watch os 8.5 now other than that the, some of the issues that are also here have to do with siri where siri may not properly recognize the user's speech on watch os on on the apple watch series 3 rather so if you have an apple watch series 3 you might want to keep an eye on this and other than that you know this is how this update came in for me on my apple watch series 7 now this is not a new apple watch face that came with watch os 8.5 it actually was just released as an over the air update uh, or watch face by Apple. So if you want it, you can actually get it and you can find it on the apple.com forward slash watch section. Or if you go to your Apple watch section, you can see that you see the new Unity watch face and it will be in the forefront of all the other watch faces. So if you want a link for this watch face and you are not seeing it here, I can always provide it to you you can also always customize it according to your need but other than that this is how watch os 8.5 came in for me so i updated quite a while ago so let's go ahead and look at the battery because i'm curious to see what's my battery percentage so it was last charge at 3 51 pm and right now you can see it's 7 11 pm so it's been a while and you can see my battery is on 96 percent so i just used about four percent only so that's good in about four hours and if we go to about the battery health you can see that my battery health still maintains maximum capacity of 100 percent which is good so i believe this is the second or third beta series so from watch os 8.0 8.3 8.4 and now 8.5 we're maintaining a record of 100 percent maximum capacity so this is something that's good this apple watch series 7 is taking on these beta updates like a champ now other than that that's about it for me i will do another video if i do find some more changes or a serious issue that you need to be aware of and yeah that's how this update is for me on my apple watch series 7 let me know what else you would like to see on the channel and stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video Peace.